Hello there, this is Bic Benedict with playing Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition on Dante Must Cry difficulty. We're currently on Mission 7 of 20, and I know the number in particular because the next chapter, I cannot beat it yet. Maybe I can never beat it, and this video will be in vain, but if that's the case, then you'll never hear this video anyway. So I'm looking at a video preview screen here that has very low quality because I spent the entire day reinstalling Windows 7 and even though that process itself only takes about an hour or less putting all of the programs back and all of your settings back um, all of your settings, programs, everything, you take for granted how optimized your system is and how personalized it is and I never took it for granted but I I realize the value of, of uh, you know, making sure that gratitude is not lost in that respect. So w the thing I mentioned about the preview screen is that I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. That's pretty much double the standard of what the current RAM is, and it's still not enough. So. Um, just for my particular rig, like, you know, the graphics card and everything, it's just, it's not a suitable amount of RAM. Because if I had more, I probably wouldn't have these display issues where I can't even watch the video in good quality or best. I used to be able to watch it in best, but I can't any longer. So, I'm looking to upgrade my RAM to 32 gigabytes. And the unfortunate thing about Windows 7, the lowest tier of it, that is, that... I have which comes with a new computer it still comes with it I mean if you if you look on like Dell's website there the, the, the new computers are shipping with Windows 7 do not upgrade to Windows 10 ever I mean maybe a, in a year's time you can upgrade but the thing that really pisses me off is I paid for this rig it was like a twelve hundred dollar computer and they installed premium on it Windows Home Premium and it caps the level of RAM that you can use at 16 so if you want to use anything beyond 16 you have to have Windows Professional or Windows Ultra and to get those you have to buy them or if you already have the lowest tier like I do you have to upgrade so I went on to the Windows Anytime Upgrader to find out how much it costs and apparently they're not doing it anymore so now I have to go online to buy it so we're looking at about a $75 purchase for the upgrade and then about $175 for the RAM so what's it like $250 or something but I'm gonna be selling all the RAM that I have on my computer I I, I just want four sticks of eight right eight times four is thirty yeah thirty two I'm not very good with math as you well know so we're in the heart of the jungle here. These chapters always remind me of that guy Kiernoth, the Devil May Cry 4 specialist. Uh, just because I was using a lot of his videos for guidance and uh, to get to help me get the orbs, the blue orbs, I should say. So this is a particularly heart-wrenching section, very distressing. And what I would recommend is hell what would I recommend I mean I was using the shotgun and it just wasn't doing very much but I suspect many of my shots were going wild because these guys are going all over the place and despite the fact that it has a pretty good spread I'm just not getting these guys hit so I've I've just been countering problem after problem it's not even like a daily issue where there's like a problem it's it's every time I'm doing another task like doing one task and then doing another another there's another problem that crops up it's just so many fucking problems so many problems so I always hate these parts there's there's two of them two of them with her and one of them with the other character but anyway so I think I'm gonna sell my RAM for let's see it's a good RAM. It's uh, four sticks of four gigabytes DDR3, which is the newest 
like it was well, not the new standard. I went on Total Biscuits about page to see what he had, and some of his up uh, some of his stuff was uh, was obsolete. Like I, I saw, like he's using DDR4 RAM. And he's got like there's always one guy who has like better stuff than anybody, and that's that guy probably. And I just don't like that. I, I don't like people that just one up just for the sake of one upping everybody else. Like me. I just want the best for my rig, you know, and maybe, I don't even care about that guy, that guy is a cynical asshole. But Echidna will be the boss fight for this particular chapter, and she's pretty difficult, but the nice thing about these characters, well this character I should say, is that you don't have to get very close to these enemies to deal considerable damage. And if I have to, if I have to say, they've moderated the the, sh the charge shot at a, just about a perfect level of uh, the increments, I should say, because it's very easy to get a level two charge. But it's there's so many times when you're trying to get a level three charge and you just don't get it because you have to cancel out of it. So other than that, the uh, the guide's going pretty well as far as uh, the brick wall that I'm currently at. And I'll discuss that more in detail. I did release video one of the of the new guide, and that was kind of against what I usually do. I don't like to have projects running concurrently, but I think I'll be skipping these guys. Or not. No, I don't do it. But there's a YouTuber called Mundane Matt, who I never would have heard of probably if I didn't watch some of Re Review Tech USA's videos. And uh, the guy Kirnoff frequents that channel quite frequently. If you want to see comments by that guy, I always see comments of his on like all the Mundane Matt videos and. It's just that moment where you see, like a comment, like from Kiranoff. It's just what, what, this guy, this Devil May Cry Four pro is watching mundane Matt. But I was watching one of his streams, and uh, he says he said he's from Hawaii, so I guess that's where he hails from. But I've just been watching a lot of tutorials trying to fix my rig, trying to solve all these problems and it's just taken the entire day so anyway for echidna what you should do is come to the fight with a level three charge if you possibly can or if you want to you can start uh, just using the kalina ann and the more charge shot level threes you get on these bosses the more you just you're, you're going to decimate but you won't be able to get one when she's doing her spikes from the ground but if ever she starts to taunt, that is when you need to start charging the gun. Because when she's taunting, she's not raising the spikes up from the ground, and you could, you might even be able to get a level three charge if you do it right away. See, like I did right there. Look at all the fucking damage that took off. It's incredible. I don't like the bosses in this game for the reason that once they reach a certain damage threshold, they go berserk, and I, I ne I've never liked that. So these enemies are most vulnerable to the devil trigger when they're stunned. That's pretty much the the prevailing theme. It goes for all the characters. If they're stunned, you you do more damage. So uh, a strategy like this is not too involved. The only thing I'm doing is I'm I'm evading. I'm uh, I don't even think I use the bayonet at all in this fight. It's not really worth it. But I took a sloppy hit right there just because I was really nervous and just trying to get out of this chapter and get the fuck out of dodge. Take care.